What's up, welcome back guys, Sam Abrex here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to get keywords for your listing. It's a new method that I started using recently. It is super effective and super simple. You've probably heard me say this a million times, but selling on Amazon is a game of keywords. Customers are searching for the same product, but in so many different ways. They go on Amazon, they type something that's different for each person, but they end up buying the same thing. So how do you put your product in front of all these different keywords? In other words, how do you find out what these keywords are? And to show you an actual example of how customers search on Amazon let me show you this so check out this chair this is a chair that I recently bought here I use it outside and sit down and it leans back so what I want to show you is if I wanted to buy this chair what would I type on Amazon I also got my friends my roommates people I'm living with here in the house to do the same so that we all compare what each person typed and if you guys can do the same thing at the same time if you were to buy this chair write down in the comment section below what you would search on amazon and then we can see how different people think so do it now before i show you what i actually typed in and searched put it in the comment section below to demonstrate this i got my friends with me <sighs> there we go we're gonna compare how you guys each search for it okay don't this cheat chair. this Wait, chair is the exact chair uh, do i have to log into my account no, you're going bro. Alright, ready guys? I'm gonna start. I looked up portable tanning chair. Oh. What did you look up? I put gray folding lawn chair. Gray folding lawn chair. I would put beach chair. Beach chair. I put comfortable beach chair. Comfortable beach chair. I put reclining beach chair. Reclining beach chair. Mine's basic lawn chair. Lawn chair. <laughs> So you see how everyone looked up different keywords. I'm going to show you in this video how to find all these different options that customers might be finding your... Your product. Your product. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you get the idea. So now let me show you how I actually find these keywords. But first, congrats to the giveaway winner. Contact me on Facebook to set it up. And if you want to win the next one, I give you guys a chance to win a one hour free call with me. All you have to do is click the thumbs up on this video, leave a comment saying that you want to win, and subscribe and click on the bell. And that's it. I'll choose someone randomly in the next one. And let me actually update you guys on my Amazon progress. I think you saw me launch this product back in December. It was the whole brand new brand series that I did on this channel. So the past 30 days have been pretty good, honestly. As you can see, it's 16. 16 point something thousand dollars in the past 30 days. Let me refresh it in front of you. A few weird things happening in the past few days, not too sure what's going on, but I've been testing a few different things. Things have been going pretty well, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this product. I'm going to launch a variation soon, I'm going to launch a few other products in that brand soon, and I'm going to be sharing a lot more about the branding, the Shopify, the, F the Facebook ads, and all that stuff, the outside of Amazon stuff. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow along. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, here's an update for you guys. I moved to Los Angeles for a couple of months. I'm basically just escaping the snow from Montreal. I'll be here for a while. I didn't mean up with Matt Loberstein a few weeks ago. If you want to join the next one at the beginning of April, we're doing another meetup. So make sure you're in the Facebook group or you follow me on Instagram and you'll hear about the announcement. And I just got back from Vancouver for the Ecom Hub Summit, which you've seen me talk about in previous videos. There's going to be a lot of content coming from that weekend. So again, make sure to subscribe to see all that stuff. But yeah, let's get into this. So this method, we actually talked about it in the last video with Bradley. Bradley is someone who's done over 400 product launches and we did a whole video on the channel. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it yet. And one of the things he mentioned was how to find these keywords using Helium 10. And I realized that a lot of you guys asked for a step-by-step -step on how to do what he explained. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. So using Helium 10, they have a tool called Cerebro, which is a reverse ASIN tool. If you don't know what that is, it simply takes a listing, probably your competitor's listing. It does a reverse search on it and shows you all the keywords in the back end and all the keywords that it's ranking for. Along with a bunch of data that help you understand which keywords are good, which have a lot of volume and which don't. But what I recently learned about Cerebro and what we talked about in that last video is that you can do a reverse search not only on one competitor or one listing, you can do up to, I think, nine listings at a time. What's cool about that and what makes this strategy work is that you can put them all at once and you can filter by a bunch of criteria that all of them together match for. So I'm gonna show you my computer in a second, but we're looking for four things here. We put a bunch of competitors and we do a reverse search and we filter by number one, we only wanna look for keywords where the listing shows up organically. So we wanna skip all the keywords where the listing shows up as sponsored because that just means that they're paying to be there. It doesn't mean that they deserve to be there or that the keyword is actually good for that listing. Number two, we wanna filter by where all these listings show up somewhere around the first page 
I'm sure you know, the first page is where all the magic happens on Amazon. Number three, and that's very important, you want to filter for a minimum search volume. So let's say they're all ranking on the first page for a keyword. But if that keyword doesn't have enough volume, which in other words, it means if that keyword doesn't have enough people looking for it or people searching that keyword, then it means nothing because it's not getting any sales. So you want to filter for keywords that a lot of people are searching for. And the last one is you want to see where all these different listings that you put in fit this criteria, not just one, not just two, but all of them that you put in. So to do this, you're going to need Helium 10 and you're going to need to use the tool called Cerebro. They have a bunch of tools but Cerebro is what we need for this one. And if you wanna try Helium 10 and follow along, or if you don't have it yet, I actually talked to them and got you guys a seven day free trial. All you have to do is use the link in the description below and put code BRAX50. You'll get seven days free and 50% off the first month. It is an affiliate link, so if you use it, I get a bonus. So if you do use it, thank you. So like I said, we need to get a bunch of listings, your best competitors. You wanna see where your best competitors are ranking and find all these keywords that they're ranking for. So how do you choose your best competitors? Let me first search the, the keyword that I looked up when we did that example at the beginning. It was something like portable chair for tanning. I want to see first if that keyword is actually a good keyword. A good keyword meaning one that has all the listings that are doing well. So looking at the market, it seems like the, the revenue is different a lot between all the, all the listings. So maybe like, look, it goes from 40 to 10 to 1, back to 72, back to 19. So let me find a better keyword. I mean, obviously, probably not many people are searching this exact keyword. So to do this, we're going to use actually magnet I open it right here you could probably estimate a better keyword but let me try this method so what magnet does is you put in these keywords and then it shows you from Amazon all the related keywords that it thinks match this one or are similar to this one and you can rank them by search volume so let's see what are the best keywords or the most searched keywords compared to the one that I put in sometimes the biggest ones might not be the actual ones they might not be as related but let's see recliner chair folding chair beach chair let's try beach chair let me just double check that it's actually what I'm looking for yeah try to find the one that I have yeah, this one. All right, now that we have the right main keyword, let's find our best competitors. This is a tricky part. Listen to this carefully. Our best competitors are the ones that look the most like they're FBA sellers. It's It might be hard to understand if you're a beginner, but you probably know what I mean. But there's a lot of listings here that are pretty obvious are FBA sellers just like me and you. Someone who listed that product and you know did all the optimization, have amazing bullets, and did all the stuff that we do. But at the same time, there are some that are obviously big brands that don't care much about optimizing for Amazon. They're, they're just there because they get a lot of traffic from their branding or from their Instagram or YouTube or they probably were on TV. So you wanna skip those. You don't wanna compare yourself to the ones that were on the Oprah show just like we said in that last video, you want to find the ones that are most similar to you. Let me try to give you an example so you understand. Let me compare this one. Let's look at this one. Also very important, skip the ones that say sponsored because they're not actually ranking on that keyword. They're paying to be there. So for example, compare this listing with this one. This one has a short title, zero gravity chair. It doesn't even describe what the chair is. And the bullet points are very short and they're not trying to sell you the product properly. But as you can see, it's ranking 300. So they're doing something right, probably from their own traffic or it's some known brand or something. Compared to this one, you can see, you know, it's very typical for us to have these all caps words at the beginning and then three, three lines of the of description again here and here and here. So it looks a bit more like an FBA product. So this example is probably not the best just because, you know, it's a lot, it's a big chair. Maybe not a lot of FBA sellers do this, but let's just continue and choose three just for the sake of this example and to do this video. Let's skip this one because it's obviously not optimized. So I chose this one. I just want to check if its rank is good enough. 75,000. I don't like it. Let's choose just one more. Let's look at this one. It looks like mine. Let me just check the ranking to see if it's good enough. You don't want to compare yourself to someone that's not doing well. So 7,000 seems like it's not bad. Now, this is where the magic happens. You take all these ASINs. So you can take the ASIN from the link right here. Copy, paste, press tab, and then go to the next one. Now that we have them all, get keywords you click on that and it's going to get you all the keywords that all of these are ranking for so as you can see there's 4957 keywords we don't want to use them all we want to filter down to the criteria that i told you about so what was the first thing that i mentioned it was we want to look for only the organic keywords i don't want to see where they're paying to be i want to see where they're organically ranking because that's where they're getting their sales that was number one number two 
Number two, I want to see where they're all somewhere around the first page. Now, you can do that by looking at the ranking or by looking at the competitor rank average. What this does is it averages all the rankings of all these competitors right here, all the listings that you put. And the ranking is the exact position of where the listing is. So rank number nine means that it's on position number nine. It doesn't mean page nine, it just means position nine. So one, two, three, it's probably on the first page. So competitor ranking average between one and 20, I've seen Bradley do that. I do sometimes one in 15. You can try it and test it. So you can actually see it here, relative rank. If you hover on this number, you see that the first listing is position three, second is position nine, and then position 23. And the fourth listing is not there. So that's the next thing that we want to do. We want to see the ranking competitors, all of them to be there. So minimum four of the competitors, which is all of them, to rank, or in other words, to see them all ranking somewhere here. And then the last thing, the very important thing, because now without adding that last thing, right now we can, we can see all the keywords that are somewhere on the first page for all these listings. But they can be on the first page of loser keywords, keywords that aren't good for us. In other words, keywords that people are not actually searching or not enough people. So to do that, we need to look at the search volume. Now it depends for every market. For my market, I usually put minimum 400, but let's put 200 or let's put 400 and see what happens. So search volume minimum 400. Now let's apply. So look at 4,000 keywords right here or 5,000 almost. All right, this is why I said, let's try 400, let's try 200. All right, I'm gonna change this to two instead of four, just because this might not be the best product or the best competitors that I chose. But you know, in your market, it'll be a lot easier because you already did the research on what's a good market. So let's look at 150 here. There we go. So it went from 5,000 to 16. So what we're seeing here is competitor ranking average is w between one and 20. So this, the average here is nine, which means that if you look here, you have one position seven, one position 11, and one position 12 and the search volume is a thousand. So portable beach chair is a very good keyword because all these competitors are ranking there. They're all on page one and there's a lot of people searching for it. So now what you can actually do is take all these keywords. You can export them here, take them to Excel, and then you can use them in a lot of areas because according to the filters, these are the keywords where your competitors are ranking somewhere around page one. And there are the keywords that a lot of people are searching for. And if your competitors are doing well, which you have to choose competitors that are actually doing well, if they're doing well, then that means being on that page is pretty important and you want to be on that page too. So you can use these keywords when you're doing your initial keyword research to put in your listing and in your backend and in your bullet points and description, all that stuff. Or you can just target these in your PPC campaigns. You can do a lot with, with these keywords. I'll just add that if it's for your listing research, I would do a bit more because, you know, 16 keywords might not be enough obviously for your bullet points i would do a bit more but these would be my winning keywords these are the keywords that i want to track and see where my listing is compared to everyone else and yeah that's what i did recently and now i'm tracking them for my own listing i'm on page one for a lot of them but now i have my eye on the ones where i'm not on page one and i'm going after them all right guys so try it out get your best keywords make sure you have that list and you know exactly which keywords you want to target let me know how it goes and let me know if it works for you. Obviously, you, need, you might need to change a few numbers here and there, but try it out. Again, if you want to try Helium 10, there's a link in the description below that gives you seven days free and 50% off. If you want me to do more tutorials like this, please let me know. I haven't done one of those in a while. So if you do, let me know in the comments and click the thumbs up if you like this video, please. And if you want to see the next videos, subscribe and click on the bell to get notified when I post. Again, to see the full video with Bradley, I'll link it in the description below. It's in the Facebook group or click right here and you can go watch it right now on YouTube. It was the last video that I posted. We talked all about ranking this method and other methods. So click right here to go watch it. and I'll see you there. Peace. One mistake that sellers make is they'll look at who's the top selling one in the niche. And then they're like, let me copy all their keywords. Here's the, the danger in that when you just base it off of one ASIN.